What's up everybody? Welcome to the Hampton Blue channel. Today I will be speaking on the late great artist Prince and Vanity. But before I get started, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to view any of our upcoming videos. Today marks three years since the legendary singer Prince passed away. Prince died in his home, Paisley Park in Minnesota at the age of 57. A toxicology report from Prince's autopsy revealed that the purple one died from an exceedingly high concentration of fentanyl in his body. Prince had been dealing with major joint pain throughout the years, particularly from his hips, and therefore was allegedly taking painkillers to numb the pain. A few months prior to Prince's death, his protege and former love, Denise Katrina Matthews, better known as Vanity, also died at the age of 57 after years of dealing with kidney problems. Vanity developed the kidney problem after an overdose in the early 1990s. Vanity got her first taste of the spotlight entering beauty pageants in Canada and Northeast New York. She won the Miss Niagara Hospitality title in 1977 and also competed for Miss Canada in 1978. After that, she moved to New York City to really get her career going. Unfortunately, her lack of height hindered her modeling career and she only did a few commercials and photo shoots. But the best was yet to come after meeting music icon Prince. Prince and Vanity had a sizzling partnership in love life at the height of his fame in the early 1980s. Prince and Vanity met at the 1980 American Music Awards upon meeting her Prince named Denise Vanity because he saw his female reflection when he looked at her. And Prince also believed they had been each other in a former life. No, it was Prince who named you Vanity, wasn't mm. it? Why Vanity? Well, first, you I'm sure you know it was Vagina. First he came to me and said, Denise, got a new name for you. So what's that, Prince? Vagina. <laughs> I said, wait a second, wait a second now. And he said, well, you could spell it Vagina. I know you're not going to, but you could spell it Vagina. Just think, you'll be the most popular thing in life. <laughs> I said, what? I said, yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. We'll go to a restaurant. And I said, I'll, 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 I'll let you name me Vagina as long as you change your name to Dick. <laughs> And so the next day he came with Vanity, and that scared me a little bit. It scared me a lot, I remember. I got nervous, I got really nervous, really shaky inside. And it, it's only been a couple of years that I've been really comfortable with the name Vanity. And, um, and, and really understanding why he did call me Vanity. And you know, him and I are so much alike. When I look in the mirror, when I look at him, I love his face so much, I want it. Mm -hmm. And when he looks at me, he, I know he, he digs my face so much that he wants it. After the Purple Rain singer learned that Vanity could sing, he asked her to become the lead singer of the group Vanity Six. The group went on to make a name for their sexually explicit lyrics, performances, and costumes. Their biggest hit being Nasty Girl, written and produced by Prince. Both the song and music video were banned from various radio stations and TV channels in the early 1980s because of the sexually explicit lyrics. Prince and Vanity would date for three years. Vanity confirmed to media that their love story inspired the film Purple Rain. She said she helped script Purple Rain with the star in Minnesota and that she was initially slated to play the female lead. However, the couple split before filming began and the role eventually went to Apollonia Katero. In the film, her character notably joins an all-girl group named Apollonia Six. Vanity stated, I needed one person to love me and he needed more when speaking on their split. She said, I never thought, oh God, I'm in Prince's shadow. He'd been performing for years and was my teacher. I miss his humor, always felt we'd be like Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor over the years. I can honestly say, I love the kid. Vanity went on to become a movie star after her breakup with Prince, starring in films such as The Last Dragon, 52 Pickup, Action Jackson, and the 1986 movie Never Too Young to Die with John Stamos and Gene Simmons. In the mid-1980s to the early 90s, the gorgeous, singer and actress also starred in numerous TV shows. After the singer overdosed, she became a born again Christian. She said that Jesus spoke to her during that time and promised to save her if she gave up her vanity persona. Oh, I was a mess. Mm. I, I was deeply wounded in my spirit and I was all flesh. Vanity, well, and that's why I say blame it on vanity because that's all about the flesh and that's who I was. And I wanted so, you know, I was so miserable the entire time that I was vanity. I spent so many days and so many nights crying, hating who I'd become. And I, I knew I needed to 
get out, but you don't know how to get mm. out because it just, that, oh, the world sucks you in, doesn't mm. it? It just sucks mm. you in and it tempts you and there's every temptation. And if nobody comes to you and tell, I tell everybody about Jesus. Mm. I mean, that, like David said, King David said, I have set the Lord always before me. Mm. And because he's at my right hand, I cannot be moved. The reason that I have joy is because I've been through such incredible sufferings to learn, to, to understand that you can't do this or that. You know, I've been um, almost 13 years old, I mean, 13 years years a virgin in Christ and I've been 18 years um, without addiction amen thank you mm. in 1995 vanity said when I came to the Lord Jesus Christ I threw out about 1,000 tapes of mine every interview every tape every video everything she cut off all ties with Hollywood and her former life in show business and no one really saw her since Prince paid tribute to his former protege just one day after her death while performing in Melbourne, Australia, as part of his piano and a microphone world tour, and he dedicated the song Little Red Corvette to her. I'm trying to stay focused. It's a little heavy for me tonight. Just keep jamming, he told the audience. He referenced her frequently throughout the night, with the deeply private star getting uncharacteristically personal. Can I tell you a story about Vanity, or should I tell you a story about Denise? Her and I used to love each other deeply, Prince told the audience. She loved me for the artist I was. I loved her for the artist she was trying to be. She and I would fight. She was very headstrong because she knew she was the finest woman in the world. She never missed an opportunity to tell you that. In just a few months after this performance, Prince himself would pass away. Again at the age of 57, the same age as Vanity. After his death, his friend and former protege, Morris Day of the Time, took to Facebook and stated, Prince and Vanity together again. Maybe in the spiritual world, their spirits have reunited. May they both rest in peace and have eternal purple love.